What's going on guys? Soon to be Chewbacca cosplayer Gomes here. Uh, back again on hopefully an interesting video. So uh, if you guys remember last year we did the all MLB The Show games in one video. Uh, and one of which, MLB The Show 06 to be uh, particular. We went through eBay and we got stiffed by... I don't know, XX Pussy Slayer selling me that game, it didn't work. We went through eBay again, and wouldn't you know it, we got a game that did work. What has been, uh, held, touted, as the greatest baseball game of all time. Uh, I'm gonna be popping my MVP 05 baseball cherry today. Now, I am quite aware, there is a Create a Stadium feature. In this game developed in 2005, a feature that is not existent in a game developed in 2020, wouldn't you have it? Uh, but otherwise, uh, pretty novice. Yeah, I'm gonna be going in raw, so if you guys have never experienced the magic of MVP 05, uh, I'm gonna be uh, coming in right alongside with you. So buckle in, fasten your condoms, because uh, like I said, what I'm told is this game should open my third eye as far as baseball simulation goes. So uh, leave a like if you guys do enjoy these videos. As always, subscribe if you guys are new. Uh, gonna try and put out some more, uh, you know, throwback games ish. Find some content to do uh, until we see MLB 21 news in the coming years. So uh, let's get into it. And here we are, baby, MVP05, as Manny Ramirez is hiding behind this horse face. Um, here we go, play now, game modes, my MVP. Uh, doesn't look too crazy yet, but I'm sure it's gonna really open up from here. Uh, I guess we'll briefly take a look at the rosters. Like I said, never played MVP05, however, I did play MLB2005, uh, developed by 989 Sports, which ended up being what uh, MLB The Show is today, uh, so rosters should be pretty familiar uh, by playing that game, of course, I was just a wee lad uh, at this year, of course, uh, but Manny Ramirez, the cover athlete, perhaps one of the greatest hitting pitchers of all time, Carlos Zambrano, uh, I think this is... Uh, sheesh, this must have been just kind of after the Steve Bartman incident. Um, I think this is the championship year Chicago White Sox, who got Liam Hendricks. Perhaps could be duking it out for another one this year. Uh, Frank Thomas towards uh, kind of the tail end of his career. The Cleveland baseball team, hopefully this logo's not going to get me demonetized. Coco Crisp. One of the most memorable names in baseball. Uh, Todd Helton, big fan of him growing up. Matt Holliday there as well. I think this is... Clearly a young Matt Holliday. I don't think that's a face scan. I think the pigmentation of his skin's not quite accurate. Um, for the Detroit Tigers, Yvonne Rodriguez, of course. Um, Donchell Willis for the Florida Marlins at this point. Young Miguel Cabrera. I think this is a year or two removed of them coming off a World Series title. Here we go. Minnesota Twins, Johan Santana. Very young Joe Maurer. Almost as young Justin Morneau. Joe Nathan. Tori Hunter, a lot of memories coming from here as a Minnesota lad, of course. Pedro Martinez must have been one of his first years with the Mets. Carlos Beltran there as well. Young David Wright, too, and Kichu Matsui. Randy Johnson on the Yankees. Aaron Jeter, Rivera, pretty much at full strength. Not full out winning championships, though. Oakland Athletics, Jim Tomei. Now, I believe John Down here is supposed to be a fill-in for uh, one Barry Bonds, as he is not here. Um... Again, the pigmentation's not exactly right. Uh, interesting angle. Of course, the show went with Reggie Stalker um, in having him look a lot similar to Barry Bonds, but a different approach here. But uh, perhaps we'll get some swings in with him. Ah, uh, yeah. What a, what a memorable player for the Tampa, uh, the Tampa Bay Devil Rays at this point. Um, still got some cool names. Carl Crawford, Rocco Baldelli, uh, Scott Casimir, and whatnot. Not a great Rays team. Uh, in fact, they didn't have a great team for about 10 years, um, but Mark Teixeira for the Rangers at this point. Rest in peace, Roy Halladay, Vernon Wells. A uh, lot of interesting names. Vlad on the Angels here, of course. The Diamondbacks. Uh, you guys kind of get the gist of it. Uh, pretty cool roster right down memory lane. Gonna take a look at owner mode here. As the owner, you and your staff will have 30 years to make your organization successful, which of course we will do. Um, you will build up your ballpark. So I think this is where we do the create a stadium jazz. Uh, I, I kind of get how to do this here. Um, the fantasy drafts, cool. 
suspensions. Interesting angle. Something they don't have uh, in current day. So do players just randomly get drug tested? Is that in full transparency in this game as well? That's pretty fucking awesome that they had this back then. Fair trades uh, will just go the base settings on everything and call it good. The 27th ranked Devil Rays. Uh, good farm system though. 7th and AAA, 5th and single A. I think this is when Delman Young was still in the farm system. He was thought to be a huge prospect. Of course, never turned out to be such. Welcome to create a ballpark. Customize every aspect of your park. You mean more than pulling packs and getting franchise sponsorships to put up uh, in-game tickers? Oh, you're blowing my mind. There we go. We'll be playing in the Smeet Shack uh, location. Okay. This is cool. This is what I would imagine that MLB The Show could probably do. Uh, we only have three options, Bay, City, or Suburbs. Um, I think the Smeet Shack is a kind of suburb area. High right field wall. Exactly. Man. Do you know how fucking easy this could be? <laughs> I'll probably make another video on this, but good lord. I can't imagine this being not able to do in 2021. We're going to have a Little League ballpark, 325 to the polls. I think that's good. Wall color is going to be uh, not too many options here, but uh, I get it. They want to maintain the realm of possibility, except, uh, you know what? Fuck yeah, we're going to have a brick wall. Yeah, brick's going to be brick's gonna be the way here. Uh, seat color, we'll do red for no reason. Green grass, we'll do, uh, we'll do blue grass, I think. Uh, that's just trying to make this the least realistic. Some diamond shapes, brick. We can have, we can have uh, brick infields. Uh, I suppose that's going to be good for some hot ground balls coming in. Batter's box. Uh, we'll stick with that one there. Fuck that. Yeah, best believe I'm not having the EA logo anywhere near this stadium. Uh, what are the fans going to think? They have to spend five extra dollars if they want to sit down. We'll do the mascot logo. Uh, I'll call it good and accept those changes. So uh, there we go. Not too in depth. Again, this is 2005, but again, there's no customization in 2020. We also have the owner's box here where we can set pricing by assets, ballpark upgrades. Again, they actually did have this back in the day in MLB the show for franchise mode. They just took it out for God knows what reason. Uh, but yeah, like I said, this is cool scoreboard. So uh, you can get different advertisements, which is, uh, I believe, going to generate you revenue in the long run, which is something that you're looking for in baseball to get more funds uh, like the Rays so they could have a payroll above uh, five McChickens a year. Um, so that's cool. They have that availability. Um, staff, you can do that. Promotional days, again, something they used to have in MLB The Show. Ballpark attractions can buy sh cool shit like a history museum, exactly what six-year-olds want to look at when they go to the ballpark. Uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and do that. We'll, we'll just tank. Uh, we'll see the shortest amount of time that we can own this team until we go bankrupt. Uh, I, I just think this stuff's cool. It gauges fan happiness. So if you don't have uh, enough history museums and public libraries, the kids aren't going to be uh, too happy. They, they want to read their books, damn it. Um, concession stands pretty much set about everything. How much you're going to have it, you can set prices. Good lord, imagine if they just added something simple like this into present day franchise like i said you can pretty much about add anything store venues to sell merchandise of course concessions you know ballpark attractions like i said you can set pricing they actually give you a full financial statement uh you know showcasing uh all the revenue that you're earning through ticket sales merchandise concessions expenses throughout players salaries um and give you a gauge on really how much money you're going to have a big part of baseball I, I just don't know how this stuff isn't included. I think this is quintessential franchise 101, yet it is nowhere to be found in present day. So I think it's about time to finally get some real fist-clenching gameplay here. Uh, so of course, we're going to use my two teams, uh, but we'll pick the better one here. We're going to use the Minnesota Twins there. Um, uh, EA at it again. <laughs> yeah, we're in it now, baby. So now, one thing to remember, 
is judge this game based off what it was, not what it is. Uh, look, look at this game through 2005 eyes, or in my case, uh, four-year-old snot-nosed Winnie the Pooh pajama-wearing eyes that have not seen 4K yet. Now, running this baby on the PS2, uh, I assure you this is the best I can get the game to look from what I can tell. It looks a bit better on the Elgato than it does uh, on my monitor because, good lord, this makes the Nintendo Switch look like a supercomputer. Looks like I'm viewing this with drunk goggles on. This shit is fuzzy. I'm not sure if there's a PCI feature, so we're just gonna go right into it. Um, now, like, four pitches later, we have three fly ball outs. Not the most productive start offensively, um, but this is pro difficulty with Johan Santana against the juggernaut that is the Tampa Bay Devil Rays lineup, so I, th I think we're gonna have an old-fashioned pitcher's duel here. This PS2 controller is prehistoric. The functionality is not there. I would think literal cavemen would have better innovation for video game controllers than this troglodyte shit. I do not know how I used to use these back in the days. More nose going any way, uh, any direction but the right direction. Fuck. A uh, off at bat. Uh, if we get him out, I suppose you go on some angry Twitter drunk rant. Uh, we'll, we'll see. Uh, but he's looking kind of foolish on that Johan Santana slider there. Um, I have no earthly idea what the meta here is. Uh, so we're gonna throw a cutter down the middle. Because I didn't aim the pitch. Is that where the ball is gonna go? It is indeed! Tori Hunter making the catch. As, uh, we avoid the cutoff man for some reason. This analog stick is getting me very tight, very tense right now. I feel like I cannot aim whatsoever. I'd have better accuracy pissing with morning wood. How do you hit the cutoff, man? Is there a way? No? Okay. Well, he's gonna score because of it. Uh, strong arm, Tory Hunter, but not that strong. Down to nothing. We have work to do here. Morneau's gonna not find a hole. Oh, baby! Oh, we did it! We got through for a single. And here we have a very young Michael Kadire, who's going to stroke one to BJ Upton at shortstop. And uh, that's going to end the inning. I mean, they've got a good throwing meter here, as well as the pitching meter. Uh, you know, of course, some of the animations aren't quite on point. You know, and for what it's worth, the, the graphics aren't half bad. You know, the stadium looks good. The crowd looks okay. The player models look okay. You know, again, this is 2005. It really doesn't look half bad. You know, I think MLB The Show, SDS, took a lot of inspiration uh, or creative liberties uh, when it comes to making their game similar to this one, uh, which makes sense. This game, from what I can tell, has done it right. There's a lot of stuff implemented here that is still in effect in the show nowadays and like the franchise shit that was back then. Oh, baby, finally some exit velocity on one of our swings there. Uh, gonna have to stay at one. But we're making progress. We're up to about a hidden inning. Jack Jones! Ah, uh, do we get enough chutzpah? Not nearly. Something I can also appreciate with this game, if you hit the green meter, or if you throw... I'm not a big fan of that. <laughs> As I was saying, uh, if, you, if you hit the perfect meter there, you're gonna have a good throw. You're not going to throw a curveball, you know, how in MLB 20, you throw it here, you get a perfect, and it ends up right there. Uh, maybe it's just being on pro difficulty, but I really like that change of pace. Could I please make a good play? Oh, a hard throw. Speedy BJ slash Melvin. Depends how he's feeling that day. Upton uh, beats it out. And I was... Wow. Yeah, good play, Shannon Stewart. Good play. That's the cutoff there. We got him. Fuck. We did not. The Devil Rays are running an actual train on us right now. We're gonna catch this one. Jock Jones, thank you. Fuck. Oh, man. Just as we try to start something leadoff single. Yeah, there's no invisible pitcher wall there. Please. Fuck. 
find a hole, turn the lights on, so you know where to put it in. Shannon Stewart, that's gonna get over his head, thank God. I think that's how you get there. Yeah, it is. Okay, that was good base running. I, I anticipated fucking that up. The first time we've sniffed past second base. Come on, Joe. Come on, Mauer. Big ops. Big chance that's such a bad pitch. Oh, can I switch teams? Ah, I can. Oh, no. <laughs> Shit. Can I hear that's going to get off the base there? Pick. Oh, my God. You're not going to pick up the ball for me? Yeah, uh, if I don't click on, you're just going to let it sit there, Shannon. At least three runs. Don't don't have them earned to Johan. Three earned runs to Shannon Stewart's name. We're playing this game as a Summer League 6. Uh, so next inning is going to be our last ups. So good lord, that's not allowed anymore. I'm going to pump it fast him. Pump it past him. Fast at 95. And we're going to have to make a big comeback. I'm, you best believe I'm changing this shit to rookie. And we have the heart of the order. Tory Hunter. I don't know how he missed that one. <laughs> but I will take it. Lead off single. Big flaw. Big issue in this game I can see is uh, user error. Uh, we have the plate discipline of Javier Baez. Nice play there. Lou Ford. Good lord. Six runs rest on Lou Ford. Oh. Uh. Pathetic. Oh, the Rays. <laughs> the Rays have us locked up in solitary confinement with that pitching. Zero runs. We had six hits, to be fair. They only out hit us by three, but their hits mattered a little bit more. So I, we're going to call it there uh, to avoid this video being too long. But you know what? The gameplay, here's the only things that I had uh, issue with. I wish there was a dedicated button for uh, cutoffs. I think that would make it just a little bit more easy or, you know, just make things simpler. Um, but otherwise, you know, a lot of the shit here was ahead of its time. The gameplay, the graphics, at least from what I see in my capture card here on OBS, doesn't look half bad. Monitor is a different story. But again, 2005. I can't, uh, you know, judge it too much here. Yeah. Quite an interesting experience indeed, uh, and an experience I enjoyed, you know, getting a blast from the past with these rosters is always a real treat, uh, some real eye candy for you, and getting to see that create a stadium, how simple it can be, but how much it really means uh, in the grand scheme of a franchise if you are going to build your own team, which I was under the impression that you could create a team. Uh, from what I can see, you can't. Maybe you guys know more about that than me, but regardless, it still gives you at least kind of a relocation sense. You'll still have the team, uh, you know, accents and franchising, um, but at least you're going to be playing in a different stadium. So if I wanted to simulate the race finally getting out of that fucking warehouse, I can do it on here. I can't do that in 2020 on the newest MLB The Show game, but you can do it back in 2005. But yeah, I think there's a lot to offer here. And like I said, the owner mode where they have all that budgetary things where you can set prices, promotions, you know, again, the create a stadium feature, which is you know actually innovative at this time and would be innovative even at this year because best believe all the IGNs are gonna Round of applause, SDS, praise be to them. They put in a feature that was in a game 15 years prior. Um, but I, I think this game was truly ahead of its time, and I probably am going to be playing it more. I already have the PS2 set up. It was a bitch to set up. I uh, don't foresee me tearing it down anytime soon. But if you guys enjoyed this little video here, leave a like down below. Thank you for watching. If you guys have played MVP Baseball before, uh, let me know your thoughts. If you haven't before, check it out. I think I bought it for like five bucks on eBay. So give it a shot. Thank you for watching. Gums out.